This is News for Tucson, live at 5.30. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for being with us. I'm Eric Fink. Donnell has the night off. Last month, the Bureau of Reclamation declared the Colorado River's first shortage in cap water deliveries, with the first cuts in water use going into effect in January. With more water shortages looming, this is forcing desert dwellers to turn to alternate supplies of water. News for Tucson's Shelly Jackson is here now with more on rainwater harvesting. Shelly, good evening. Eric, good evening. Well, rainwater harvesting is not a new concept, but local governments, individuals, and utilities are increasingly turning toward rainwater to save the desert. We have nine feet, four and a quarter inches of water in the cistern now, and that's 216 gallons an inch. Jay Cole and his wife built their retirement home in the Tucson Mountains 18 years ago. They incorporated a rainwater harvesting system into the blueprints. And it does provide all the water we need for all of our indoor household uses of water, and it maintains our outwater swimming, outdoor swimming pool. And on a good year, we can maintain a couple of small vegetable plots. Rainwater is captured on the metal roof and transported to the 26,000 gallon below ground cistern. The tank overflowed uh, this year. Uh, we got 11.4 inches of rain out here. The tank was about down to two feet out of 10 feet and uh, in July it was overflowing. David Rabb has a similar sized above ground system. We drink it, we irrigate with it, we flush the toilets with it, it's everything. Rab just installed his cistern in December. He hasn't used any Tucson water since May. The expectation is our water heaters should last longer, our coffee makers should last longer, all of our fixtures will not get, are, get corroded with the calcium and stuff that, that they, they do with normal Tucson water. Tucson water offers rebates for installing rainwater harvesting systems. Rainwater and stormwater is a huge untapped water resource for our community. The Utilities Conservation Report found the rebate program saved more than 52 million gallons of water from 2018 to 2019. And you don't need deep pockets to try it out. Passive systems like digging a shallow depression and finding out where the low points on your property are and purposefully slowing down the water there uh, is simple earthworks uh, to get started. The rainwater is filtered. Both Rab and Cole use charcoal and UV light. The coals have their water quality tested and the results are impressive. The EPA allows for two nanograms of mercury per liter, but the lab couldn't detect any in the coal's water. Did I tell you how great the water is? Tell me. The water tastes amazing. So Eric, I did try some of that water and believe the hype, it is amazing. If you would like more information, go to our website, kvoa.com. In the studio live, Shelly Jackson, News 4 Tucson. Shelly, thank you.